Hi, I'm El Gore, and I'm a technologiaholic. And this is episode nine of This Past Life. I just got a phone call from a friend of mine who I love spending time with. He's very funny. Um, into he's into the whole rockabilly scene. Um, he's very anti, you know, all modern uh, or not modern. That's not true. All um, popular culture, you could say, as a blanket statement. And um, but we communicate a lot via text and Facebook. And uh, every week, usually uh, a group of friends and I. Uh, well, it's their thing. Uh, they go out and get beer and wings and um, always invite, send out an invitation via Facebook or email or uh, text, none of which I am receiving right now. And so he gave me a call. Now, I don't know that I've ever spoken to this person on the actual telephone before, but I have to tell you the fact that he took a moment of his day to invite me out, I mean, to something that I've been to before and is just, you know, hanging out, having beers. Uh, kind of meant something to me, and uh, which is neat because uh, I, I think in episode two or three something, I uh, called my mother-in-law and told her that I had been wearing the dress that she uh, gave me from an estate sale, as well as a ring, her one of her mother's smoky topaz rings. It's it's a big ring. Um, she said it was too big for her, so. Uh, uh, and that that made me feel very good to give her a call and to tell her that not only was I thinking of her, but I was wearing something that other people appreciated. And um, it made me feel good to give her a ring. And it was neat to be on the receiving end of that and to know what it feels like to have someone take a moment of their time to call you, to invite you to something or to say hello or it doesn't really matter what it's for. But the fact that he did that kind of made my day, which is a little exciting for me. And I bought this new dress. Um, there's a great vintage store um, in the East Village that's not really known for fancy stuff. It's kind of like a t-shirt and cut-off shorts kind of place. But they have racks and racks and racks of dresses. And nothing in there is over like $40. And... Um, it's hit or miss. Uh, usually you have to do some repairs on it, uh, on the dresses that I've purchased there. It's a zipper or a frog and, what is it called? Hook, frog clasp, whatever they're called. The little hook and the little round thing that go like this that hold your zipper up. Will be broken or ripped off or you'll need to um, repair a seam or uh, reinforce a zipper, things like that. But I have a sewing machine and I have those skills so I'm very lucky that I can buy things there. But I did buy this, which has not a dang thing wrong with it. And look, it says it has an E and a G. And there's an H too. So maybe I'll just start telling people that my name is Harriet. My first name is Harriet L. Gore. <laughs> so this is just a bonus. I'd have worn it if it was like a W and a Z. Um, because I think the embroidery on it is perfect. And I think it's kind of beautiful. There should be more things with initials on them. Um, everything else is good. I've been, or I wrote a, a letter to a friend the other day, which is something, I have slews and slews of uh, stationery. My mom actually does stationery crafts, and she makes cards and things like that. So I've always kind of loved the texture of, paper and just that the romanticness of a handwritten letter. I've always kind of been in love with that. And so I have all this stationery and I write thank you notes on it and things like that. But I've, I think, want to start writing just letters. So I've stuck it in my purse with stamps and address labels. And um, I think one of my goals every day is going to be just to write a handwritten letter, something that I would normally send in an email or a text, uh, checking in on seeing how my friends are or 
um, telling them that I thought of them or mm, things like that. I think that will be something fun to add to my <clears throat> uh, things I want to accomplish while I'm doing this. Um, I also added the rules. I, I think you probably have noticed to the beginning of the um, with the, the title card. I think that'll be nice just as I add to it, add to my list, so that you'll know kind of where I'm working from. I also have decided to try to avoid any pre-packaged foods and to order if I'm ever ordering a coffee, which I don't do frequently, but um, every once in a while I'll treat myself, um, to order a small of whatever drink that is. Because, you know, back in the day, serving size were sm sizes were smaller. So I'm kind of just throwing that in. I don't know if it's a rule yet. Oh, also no diet sodas. I don't know if those are really rules. And it's kind of taking the whole technology thing in the 1950s on a spin. Um, it's not necessarily the point. But it is something that I'm kind of enjoying doing um, in line with wearing my beautiful vintage dresses and um, doing my hair and things like that. Um, I think that's everything for today. Um, what else? No? That's it. So, I hope you're enjoying these episodes and my adventure um, living technologically in the 1950s. And that's everything for today. So this is El Gore for This Past Life, and I'll see you another day.